Hello our dear parents and teachers, hope you are seeing this. If you don't know who your true enemy is, you spend the rest of your life fighting the wrong battles. Then die tired and frustrated. Ask yourself a simple question. Is our education enabling us to identify who our true enemies are? And is education success? Kindly sit and listen to our opinion, then you can also share your opinion. Yes, now in this last session, we, we are going to look at one area, and that area is called strategy prosperity. We strongly believe that education should be the main key that will give us the keys or the way on how we can prosper in life but this is our belief i believe you will disagree with it education as education education is not success most people believe that education is success others sell land others do whatever they do in order to attain education quality or quantitative but education as education itself is not success and it will never be success. Like an aeroplane. When you bought an aeroplane, an aeroplane is not USA, neither is it UK. What does it mean? Education is not success, but it is the main means to success. Education is not success, but it's the main means to success. We don't say that those ones who are not educated should jubilate. But at least all of us, we should know that whether you are educated or you are not educated, if you do the right thing, you can succeed. But education is not success, but it is the main means to success. An aeroplane is not UK, no. But an aeroplane is the main means to get you to UK. So however much you might be having all the necessities, if you sit in the aeroplane comfortably and it doesn't take the route to USA or England or Italy, you'll never reach there or Kenya. Until when the pilot takes the right direction, you will be there. That's the same thing with education. Until when we take the right direction by making informed choices, by providing quality education, that's how we can be there. Look at it today. We have so many educated people in the nation. But again, we are still grappling with everything that we consume. 80% of our consumption, mainly in electronics, they are coming from abroad. What does it mean? It simply means that we are giving out more than what we are earning. So yet we are more educated than before. So what does it mean that Education in its nature as education is not success, but it's the main means to success. But quality education has a very big attachment to success, but not every education. So uh, that's why we believe that education sh should also help us to answer this question. And that's why we call this segment Strategy Prosperity. SP. There are so many strategies that a person can use, like in football. In order to win a match, you have to use a strategy. In order for the, the soldiers to win a war, they have to use a strategy. And even us, in order to win our challenges and the poverty, which is eating people, we have to use strategies. And uh, the right strategy it is strategy prosperity. Why? It simply means that it has it doesn't have a clear a clear approach. It has various approaches to enable us square the goal. If you look at each padlock, each padlock has a specific key. And that means that even each person they have a specific strategy that can work for them. You have to just work upon yourself, but there are universal rules and principles that we all 
have to learn and appreciate before we, we move to the, to, the, to, to the realm of prosperity. And today we are going to look at one thing. We are going to look at uh, enemy versus competitor. Most of us today, uh, ask your colleague, ask your neighbor, neighbor, who is your enemy? Ask your wife, who is your enemy? And you, the wife, ask your husband, who is your enemy? And you, the teacher, who is watching? Ask your children or your students, who is your enemy? In most cases, you find that the reason why we die tired and frustrated is simply because we, ride the wrong, we fight the wrong battles. We don't know who our enemy is. And it is only through strategy prosperity where you can acknowledge and understand that this is my enemy, this is not my enemy. So in most cases, the reason why so many people fight the wrong battles is simply because we have not yet understood who our enemy is. Whenever you look at the person whom you disagree with, we tend to call them our enemies, which is not true. I might disagree with you, you might disagree with me, but when you are not enemies, when you are partners. So uh, we might even argue on so many, like, yes, have arguments, but that, it doesn't qualify you or me to become enemies. We can't be the competitors, and that's the biggest challenge. We simply, we can't, the society of today can't differentiate between a competitor and an enemy. In most cases, so many people in business, they don't differentiate between a competitor and an enemy. The moment we fail to do that, it simply means that we shall always fight the wrong battles. Whenever you start a business and a competitor comes and starts the same business, the person who started it before, or even that one who has come last, they look at themselves as enemies. We are just competitors. So uh, our education should teach us how to appreciate or how to understand the difference between competitors and enemies and how we can go about them, how we can use the right strategies. It is not healthy to kill your competitor, neither is it healthy to kill your enemy. And in life we have one enemy, or oh, okay, two or three. Our first enemy is Satan. Our second enemy is ignorance. And our third enemy is poverty. So among those ones, you find that even the one whom you call your enemy, they are also fighting their way out. And you fight them. At the end of the day, even if when you kill them, it doesn't mean that you'll take all what, be, what was destined for them from heaven. So we should learn that, that we don't fight physical people, but there are so many dark things that you can't see. And those are the enemies that we have to fight. So before we learn how to differentiate between a competitor and an enemy, regardless of your qualification, regardless of your background, regardless of your achievement, you'll never be happy. Because at the end of the day, whoever disagrees with you, you will think that they are enemies. So I believe you have learned something. And uh, because of time, I would like to pose a very simple question. What qualifies a person to be a competitor and what qualifies a person to be an enemy? At the end of the day, you find that so many people who fight you, they fight you ignorantly. They don't know that they're doing the wrong thing. But the moment they get this information, they will start making the right decision because we have so many things to fight against, not to fight against each other. This world has more than enough for us if we just acknowledge how to cooperate and harvest that enough for everyone. I think as we Thank you, our dear parents and teachers, for all your time. Kindly subscribe to our channel, Teachers TV Africa. But before we leave, we have some questions for you. Is education success? Who is your true enemy? And do we know how to differentiate between an enemy and a competitor? How are you going to use the information that you have learned today to improve your life, to improve your community, 
and even how are we going to use it as teachers and parents to improve the next generation those are our children and how shall we make them live better lives thank you this has been teacher peter from teachers tv africa may god bless you kindly don't forget to share your opinions see you then